this is Darby with RejoiceAndCreate.com and I have one more Halloween favor I wanted to share with you today and it's this cute little cat treat. Inside him is a mini Ghirardelli candy and I made him using the envelope punch board and he doesn't take a lot to make. It makes a very cute little favor but you just start with a piece of cardstock that is seven and three quarters inches long by one and a half inches wide so seven and three quarters by one and a half and then for his tail, you just need about a four inch piece of coordinating or car the same cardstock that is one eighth of an inch by four inches long. I, what I did is I went ahead and before I cut my piece off the cardstock, I just shaved off a one eighth inch piece and I'll just cut it down for the different cattails. Um, I also used a little bit of the Baker's Twine. This is leftover from before. It's a, that was a Halloween Baker's Twine before. Um, but I'm using that up, but black baker's twine, or um, even if you have a few extra of these little in-color bows, they make cute little bows as well. And he goes very quick, so let me show you how he's done. The first thing we're going to do is to score in two places. This is put the seven and three-quarter inch side up and score it at three and three-quarters. And at four. And that's all the scoring we need to do. Go ahead and fold and burnish the score lines, making sure that you line up the sides. So he's straight. And let's bring in the envelope punch board. Now I punch both the sides at the same time but you can certainly do just one end at a time. But what I did is I just, I lined up both the ends together and I held them together and I lined that up at one and three quarters of an inch. So both the ends were lined up at one and three quarters of an inch and punch. All right, flip them over and do the same thing. One and three quarters of an inch and punch. All right, now to make his ears, and I'm gonna make sure I've got them lined up again, we're actually gonna put his head, the middle of his head, straight into the throat of the punch. And we're trying to get that curved part of the punch right in the middle of his head. So go ahead and just put that straight and, and punch. And that makes his little ears. All right. All right, so let me take four inches of the tail and I curve it one way and then curve it the other way to give him a nice curved cat tail. And you can put in more curve or you can wrap it around something if you wish to do, but go ahead and just open him up. And right between the two score lines at the base, put a glue dot. Put a glue dot right there on that one, the right side, and secure the base of his tail sticking out to the right. Now we'll take our Ghirardelli Mini and we'll put a glue dot on the back of that as well. And I folded up the end and centered it in the, the base of the cat, like that. Okay, so you could fold them up like that way. And then what I did is I tucked down that top part. Now, what I did now was I actually put some adhesive in his head so that his head would stay together. And I'm using snail, but you can use whatever you want. And line up the ears and secure his head together. All right, so now what we're gonna do is just put it, give him a little bit of a bow. And I'm using some of the other leftover Halloween Baker's Twine I had, but certainly Black Baker's Twine or the orange or even crushed curry would look very Halloweenish. Whatever you have, whatever you like, and whatever matches your little cat. All right, let me make that a little bit smaller. And cut the ends off. And now what I'm gonna do is just take another glue dot and we'll secure the midsection of the tail. So I'm going to pick him up and I'm gonna put a glue dot right there on the corner of the Ghirardelli. And then I'm just gonna move the tail just up where it touches that. See, and there's his tail. 
Now you can leave, you can curl it all the way around if you want, which will actually really look cute. I'm going to cut mine just a wee bit shorter at an angle so it makes it look like he has a pointed tail at the end. And that's the tail. For his eyes and his nose, I'm going to use some of the um, rhinestones from Stampin' Up! The black rhinestones. And what I did was I took one of the smaller ones for his nose. Maybe. <laughs> They're running out of me. I put it right in the center of the face and that way I knew where to put the eyes. And I used some of the bigger ones for his eyes on some of them and I used some smaller ones on others. So whatever you like to do with the face, go ahead and do that. And isn't he so cute? On some of them I also took a bit of a, a journaling pen and I just gave a few whiskers. My journaling pen looks like it's running out of ink. I guess I've been writing too much. But I gave him a few whiskers just to make him very cute. So that's all he is. A very quick project and a very cute cat. When you're running out of time for Halloween or you have someone that likes cats. It makes a very sweet treat. And this one was made out of pumpkin pie. And here's another one I made out of fresh fig. He even looks fun in lemon lime twist. And I did that because I had a piece of lemon lime twist from another project sitting on my craft desk. But I also used on this one the little bitty bows. And if you have some left over, the 2017-19 bitty bow embellishments, they make really fun bows for them as well. And the last one that I did was a really spooky black one. I don't know if you can see his sparkly rhinestone eyes and nose, but he looks very regal. And he looks like he'd be crossing your path on Halloween night. So I hope you enjoyed the project and give it a try. And if you liked the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to be notified of new videos as I post them, please hit the bell icon. For more information on this project or any other projects I've done, please go to rejoiceandcreate.com. And until we meet again, I hope your days are blessed. Bye!